How to be hooligan? Lesson five. With your host, Derek Diablo, Del Boy D, and to Miami Firm. Miami Casual, right on the South Florida. Like and subscribe. I'm the only one coming to you with a step-by-step -step process, at least in my estimation, of what it takes to be a football hooligan if you want to go by the authentic UK model. And to this date, nobody in UK, I'm talking to you, Cass Pennant, if you're supposed to be the big boss man of hooliganism, you going around talking about everything, let me see you put a guy like this together that beats mine, Sonny Jim. So now then, it comes to dealing with law enforcement. You want to go around living a gang lifestyle and go around doing gang violence and getting in mob fights and going around mob handed and so forth. Best believe sooner or later you're going to brush up against the long arm of the law. And in UK, you're going to deal with the Scotland Football Yard Division. <laughs> or Scotland Yard Football Division as it were. They scramble their names sometimes. They do that to confuse people. Now those guys and me, we got a truce as it stands. As long as I don't go and stir up any stuff in England. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna go there and get into the historical fencing, brother. I'm not even involved in the hooligan stuff anymore. This is just satire, you understand? I'm gonna go there and get into the hooligan cooking and I'm thinking about opening me some restaurants in England. Forget about the hooligan stuff. This is just all a show. But now then, dealing with law enforcement, once you get nicked, once you get arrested by the OB, the old bill, once they got you on CCTV, once you got them banning orders, and then you go writing books about it, <laughs> as so many have found, and making videos about it, you see your life ain't gonna be the same anymore, because in America, they glorify you to be a gangster. This is a gangster country, cowboys and Indians, you understand? We jacked this country from the indigenous people to begin with, so this is already a gangster country. Now in England, they have some semblance of decency, that's their problem. We don't go by that. But when it comes to dealing with the law enforcement and that long arm of the law, as I said, and dealing with them constables or them billies, whoever you got over there, brother, sooner or later you're gonna do some time. Now I think there's a lot sweeter to do time in England than it is to do time in America. But with that being said, are you prepared to deal with a lifestyle that involves going to jail and being on custodial or whatever you call it, what we call probation. Not everybody ready for that. How committed are you to this, brother? And if you do get nicked and you do get popped, are you going to sing like a bird or are you going to keep a G code? We'll have to see. <laughs> How are you going to deal with law enforcement? Hooligans.